Hey, flawless babes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're interested to see how I took this wig and turned it into this beautiful, curly, autumn fall color with the install, just keep on watching. Let's get into the tutorial. So this is how the wig was. This is a one-year-old wig. Um, I wore this wig about for a whole week. The hair was really, really good. I remember I got this hair from Wiggins Hair. And I basically got this hair from Wiggins when I was testing them as a vendor because they have so many good reviews. So I just wanted to see what they was going to be like for a vendor. But I ended up not using them. However, this wig that I did get from them was really, really, really good. I don't remember the texture of it, but it was really good. So I'm going to go in with my... Cream of Nature Shampoo, and I'm just going to shampoo the wig. And you want to make sure to get all your glue off of your lace. I like to put shampoo on the back of my lace as well and just scrub it to get all that glue, all that makeup off of the lace. Um, especially if your hair or your wig has a lot of product, you want to make sure to shampoo to remove all of that buildup. So I'm going to go in with some color. I decided to add some color at the last minute because I thought, you know, why not show you guys a little color tutorial. So I'm going to make a bleach bath and a bleach bath is basically you're going to use bleach developer and a little bit of water. And you're going to put it in a bowl and stir it around. Just drop the wig in there and put all the bleach on the hair. That's basically a bleach bath. It's like the easiest way to bleach your hair without like, you know, laying on the countertop or on a plastic bag. It's just... This is just the new way to bleach some hair and much faster. Um, the hair turned like a brownish color. Remember, this hair is from Wiggins and it's not like high quality hair. So I didn't want to like over process it so it lose the curl pattern. So it turned like a nice brownish color. Um, it, it was going for the look I was going for. So after it turned like that nice brown color, I washed it out. Now this is kind of ghetto because y'all going to be like, hmm, Dawn, what you using Dawn for? So when it comes to bleaching hair, I love to watch out bleach with Dawn. Dawn gets very sudsy and soapy, and it kind of like really takes away all that bleach out of your hair. I don't know if y'all ever washed your hair with bleach and it still has bleach in it. Dawn removes all of that. So I like to use Dawn when it comes to removing bleach out of my hair. So now I'm going in with three colors from a door. I'm using Sunrise Orange raging red and orange blaze and i decided to use these colors because remember the hair color is dark so i want to go in with these colors to make it a little bit of like an autumn fallish color and this is basically a watercolor method guys um something very easy that you guys can use you don't have to use the colors i did but these are the colors that i had that would gave me the color i was looking for you can see like it came out like a reddish. It has a couple browns in there and all of that. So when it comes to conditioning here, silicone mix is like my best friend. I've been using silicone mix for years. I would never stop using silicone mix. Silicone mix is like the best when it comes to getting your hair very, very soft, reviving curls, deep conditioning. Silicone mix just does it all for me. Like that is just my favorite conditioner to use. And you see how that hair and its texture is just looking very fabulous, popping, everything. So that's my wash routine when it comes to reviving my curls. You see the curls is back just how I like it. The lace is cleaned. Make sure your lace is clean, ladies. So now I'm going to pop this wig on my mannequin head and I'm just going to mold it. And we're going in with a styling foam. And you're going to pick your wig with your part. I'm doing the right part. So I just parted my hair. I'm going to put the styling foam and just comb everything in place. And then I'm going to put a wrapping strip on. The wrapping strip is just going to put keep the hair in place while I let it sit overnight. I love to let my wig sit overnight when it's curly because it just you just get the natural curl pattern of the hair. That is just something I like to do. Okay, our wig is dried. It's ready to install. So this is how the wig is looking after I mold it. The only thing I did was mold it. So I'm going to go in with my foundation stick and put that foundation at the back of my lace because we need our complexion to look good. You're going to go in with your hot comb. You remember, when it's time to lay a lace, a hot comb is your best friend. If you don't have one, sis, get one. Uh, so I'm just using a hot comb to push my hairline back and i like to trace my hairline with the glue this is something i like to do and i just follow the hairline that i traced 
and put the glue there. I use about two layers of glue because I may just have this on for a week. Um, if you're someone who want a longer hold, three to four layers would be perfect. So you're just going to position that lace and just stick it into the glue. Guys, make sure your glue is kind of like dried and tacky. Do not put it on when it's like white. You don't want the whole thing to be white. So just take your time and don't rush the glue process. I let it air dry. I did not use a dryer to dry my glue. So I'm just putting, pushing that lace into the glue. Next, I like to go in with my comb and just use that to comb my hairs back. And it also helps me to push the lace in as well. You may have some parts that are not glued down, which is fine. What you want to do is lift those parts that is not glued down and put glue there and just glue it down. Um, take your time with this part because remember, we're at the front of your hairline now. So the parts that are like not glued down, which would probably be your air tabs or little sections in the front, you can either cut it off or you can go on with a little bit of glue and just glue it down. That's what I like to do. And I'm going to go in with that same makeup brush and just put some makeup on the front of my lace and you see how it is blended, honey. Woo, giving me natural, like talk to them. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in and pluck. Um, I like to pluck my hairlines again when I reinstall simply because sometimes I cut certain things away or sometimes I see stuff that I should have plucked out in the beginning but didn't get to or whatever the matter is. But you just want your hairline to look natural as possible. So I'm gonna go in more and just pluck out more until I feel it looks natural to me. And sometimes I like my hair different ways. However, I'm not doing baby hairs because I just want my hairline to look very, very natural. So no baby hairs for me. I'm just combing, using my hot comb to comb those hairs back. And I'm gonna do flyaways. So what flyaways is basically you take your scissors and you just, cut up simple pieces that's it i'm gonna pluck my part to make it look more defined and and that's really it when it comes to customization you may have to do a little bit of customization when you're reinstalling but it's nothing that is too crazy i promise you so i like to use the got to be spray and just um make my hairline look extra sleek um the hot comb is my best friend i use it for everything as you can see i use it throughout this whole video i like my wigs to be flat flush to the scalp i'm going to go in my wax stick to put those fly hair flyaways down because i know i hate flyaways as well lastly what you want to do i like to go in with the got to be spray and spray it directly on the lace this gives me an extra um, extra protection to protect my lace and it also takes away the ashiness so that's really the install process I'm just gonna make my curls look very very juicy I'm just using water and then I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Fruities um, leave-in conditioner this has been something I've been using for you years as well it just makes my curls really defined and it's very lightweight and straight to the point and yes look at hey your girl guys, so I finally finished my hair um I just want to come to you guys to show you the end look of everything this is definitely a hair wig oh my god I hate when I can't talk on camera right this is definitely a wig I have for over one year now and I thought it would been cool to show stop Chloe I thought it would been cool to show you guys how to revive your old wigs. Like, you can always bring your wigs back to life. And this is basically, this is a brown lace wig. Like, y'all know, they don't even use brown laces no more. It's all about HD or transparent. So, for me to bring back a wig that was brown lace I used a year ago, that's just bomb.com. The curls is popping, and I kind of really love the color. It's not too much, but it's still simple. And I just wanted to throw a little coloring tutorial in there for you guys. So y'all can get like an easy fall color going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I hope you guys really like that. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all can see how to revamp or revive your one of your old wigs. And the install process was just literally easy because the lace is already cut all you got to do is clean it up and stick it right back down put a little band on and let that lace melt in and that's really it um 
yeah um my last video is doing well for me coming back on youtube i just want to stay consistent with you guys um make sure to thumbs me up comment and subscribe to me i'm trying to like i'm not trying i feel like i'm really like i said last video i'm gonna be consistent this time because i have so many topics i really want to talk about especially when it comes to girl topics i really want to talk about a lot a lot of stuff on this channel and um i'm just gonna give you an insight of what my channel is gonna be about it's definitely gonna be about beauty but i really want to talk about more like entrepreneurship and girl talk everything girl talk you know so yeah i'm just gonna end that video with this um yeah that's it <laughs> make sure to thumbs me up like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video I, 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 I begin to...